Hello everyone, uh, this is my Morse code decoder uh, that I have made for our digital circuit design project uh, using VHDL on Vivado and on Basis 3. And um, as I enter the inputs from the keyboard, the VHDL code is going to convert these codes into Morse code and it's going to be represented on this LED over there. And also the entered letter can be seen on this seven segment display right over here. Okay, here we go. This is the letter A. It's represented by a dot and a dash. As you can see that you can see the PS2 code right over here and this is the mouse code representation of the letter A. Okay, here we go. This is the letter Y. It is represented by a dash, dot, dash, and dash. The, each letter repeats itself after three pauses. One dot equals one unit. Uh, one dash equals three units, and which means it's three times longer than a dot. Between each dot and a dash, or each dots, etc., there's one unit pause, and between each letter, there's a three unit pause. Here you can see the letter G. It is represented by a dash, dash, and dot. You can also enter numbers right over here. Let's try the number six. It is dash, dot, 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 and dot. Or let's try another number, like the number zero. It is dash, 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 and dash. There are also a little bit of extra features of this code. Uh, one of them, uh, these were actually made for testing purposes at the beginning. One of them is the enter button, which just shows this, a light that's constantly on. When you tap the space button, nothing changes and the light goes off. Uh, when you tap the backspace, it, it's, it sends an SOS code, which is universally known, and it's for emergency purposes. And you hit the tab key, you can see that it's just a blinking light. And, well, um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.